दिस इज वट वी आर गोइंग टू क्रिएट टूडे ऑन अवर चैनल थिंग साइफाई फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल एड लैंडस्केप एड ऑन देन प्रेस शिफ्ट डी मिस एंड सेलेक्ट लैंडस्केप सेलेक्ट वॉल कैनो हेयर यू कैन प्ले विथ एनी प्रीसेट बट आई प्रिफर वॉल कैनो गो टू दिस जोमेट्री नोट एंड क्लियर सम स्पेस देन क्लिक न्यू Create group input and add cylinder. Increase vertex to 96 and reduce radius to 0.8. Then drag. landscape to geometry node area connect it in mesh to connect transform node between cylinder and mesh boolean increase z to 0.6 again add transform node between object info and mesh boolean add join geometry node make a duplicate of cylinder node by pressing shift d and connect it to joint geometry make a duplicate of mesh boolean and convert it into intersect make a duplicate of object info and connect it with mesh boolean connect to more transform node and increase the z value to 1.1 increase the scale value of transform node to 1.9 or you can play with the value also come back to the layout and now we will apply the geometry node this will act as a magic because when you press the tap key and go to the edit menu you will see the inner part is selected automatically we have to just apply two material on it one for outer part and other one for inner and click assign for inner part only change the color just to see the particles are working or not now go to the shading tab to apply correct material to it select slot 1 first we edit outer part make the color completely white and increase specular little bit and decrease roughness then go to the slot 2 for inner part if the inner part a little bit blue color then connect bump node to the normals and add noise texture to bump height then connect color wrap in between adjust all the values for the best result come back to the layout and apply shade smooth by pressing mouse right key to correct this go to the normal and select auto smooth add one more cylinder for glass adjust all the values for best result
this cylinder radius must be little bit smaller apply set smooth to it also go to the setting tab and click new then remove principal bsdf and add glass bsdf make the color little bit blue and ior 1.333 to see the glass effect we have to use cycles if your computer support gpu then select gpu then go to the render view you will see the glass effect go back to the layout and add one more cylinder for the background play with the values for the best result hide the background then press 1 for the front view then click control alt 0 this will set your camera to the view and hide the background and adjust the camera focal length and y location rename the objects if they are making confusion select both the cylinders and press zz to adjust it only z axis scale the glass value only on z axis little bit select the cube and on frame 1 then set keyframe on z location then apply keyframe on rotation then go to frame 251 and enter 360 on rotation z and apply keyframe now go to graph editor and click arrow key and select z location then press n and select modifier and apply noise give a scale value of 6 and strength of 0.1 this will apply up down motion on cube then come back to the timeline and unhide the background and give material to it increase the metallic and specular and decrease the roughness which i forgot to so decrease the color to black part Now we will apply three aerial light to this scene one from top and two from back and front side increase the power of point light to 500 and shape to disk select the point light and drag it inside the glass near the landscape near the mountain give it the power of 100 only make one more duplicate and place it to the opposite side give a little bit blue color to the both point light go to the visibility and select transmission this will 
hide the point light but the effect will remain select the area light and make two duplicate of it by pressing shift d and adjust both the light according to your scene play with the position and power of all the three aerial light until you get the satisfying result Click render then render image to see everything is correct or not. To remove this from render just click the camera icon. Reduce the viewport sample and render sample to 32. Check again by pressing F12 whether everything is correct or not. Now it's time for camera effect. Select the camera and go to the frame 1 and adjust the location of focal length if required. At frame 1 while camera selected move your cursor over timeline and press M. This will make a mark on frame 1 then click mark and select bind camera to marker after that go to the frame 78 and add one more camera to the scene then click the camera icon to make it as a active camera and press 0 to go to the camera view reduce the focal length to 35 press n and go to the view and select camera to view now adjust your camera with the help of mouse cursor and shift key. If you are satisfied with your camera position then again follow the same step. Move your cursor over timeline and press M on the keyframe 78. Then go to the marker and select bind camera to markers. This will set the second camera on 78 frame on the timeline see the effect now one important thing if you are satisfied with your camera position then before clicking anywhere else click n and uncheck camera to view otherwise you will lose your position do the same steps with the third camera if you want third camera in your scene Now one more time, activate the camera first and bind it on the frame 210 with the same steps. Now it's time to render. Select GPU. I prefer to render it as a PNG sequence then convert this sequence into video. To do so, create a folder and then go to the render and click render animation but for video follow these steps please tell me whether i should continue with voiceover or time lapse in the poll or comment section thank you very much for watching